Hello everyone, in this quick review we are going to take a look at the Lamzu Energon and Energon Pro Pad. As I said in the Kurosan Ninja review, I love fast pads and let's see if they are that good. I bought these pads myself, so I would appreciate it if you could thank me by subscribing to my channel, at my Twitter, the link in the description below. Uh, let's start by saying that these pads are in the category of fast pads, uh, on par with Artisan Raiden, which is generally one of the fastest closed pads on the market. Uh, they are also similar in the material, uh, which is nylon and spandex. Let me immediately outline the difference between the Energon uh, original and the Pro version. And is this is size. Uh, regular is uh, 48 by 41 centimeters, and the Pro version is even bigger. It's uh, 50 by 50. And there are also differences in the base. In the original Energon is a strange rubber base, very similar to neoprene. Um, the first time, by the way, very unpleasant smells. Uh, pro version with the Japanese porn, but both these pads hold up perfectly well on my desk. Uh, base Energon Pro uh, on softness something between Artisan Soft and X Soft. Uh, base uh, squeezes in pretty deep, but uh, still the surface itself is pretty resilient. My Energon Pro has curved edges out of the box and I couldn't straighten it out. I think this uh, problem with the faulty tight stitching that lead to this edge curvature. Uh, I would also like to point out that the stitching is below the level of pad. The surface of both pads is identical, uh, very smooth, uh, on dot skates and light mice seems to float. Oh. But the soft base gives you enough control. Uh, fast flicks are best on it, uh, no static friction, no sticky micro movements. Uh, the X and Y axis glide in the same. Um, I have uh, broken most of my AM lab records on these pads. Uh, of course, such fast pads require habit and very good control. If you have always uh, used much slower pads, it will take a period of adjustment. For me, uh, Raiden and Energon are the best and uh, only alternative to glass pads, uh, because they give a quite similar level of speed, um, but there is no need to wear a full sleeve. So if you have ever considered switching from glass pad back to clothes, this is not a bad option. Overall, Energon Pro is pretty much a Raiden X Soft, just a larger size. And it seems like it's a perfect pad, uh, but it's not, uh, unfortunately. Uh, as I said, the material is nylon and spandex, a pretty tight weave, and it, is, uh, it has a common problem like Raiden have. The problem is a very poor tolerance to moisture, and I'm not talking about the humidity in the air, but specifically the moisture from your hands. Uh, if you have a sweaty hands enough, you will easily notice how the glide slows down when the surface gets wet. Uh, it's typically uh, with other closed surface hand moisture is easily absorbed and then evaporated and generally doesn't cause a noticeably change in the glide. In the case of Energon, I only have to spend half an hour in Aimlab or Apex uh, to feel by touch uh, that the most used area of the pad is damp. Yes, if you let it dry, the glide returns to normal, but I found a cooler life hack. I just flip the pad to the other side, like this. This works well with the Energon Pro, because it's square and quite large. Uh, I usually take a quarter of the pad in the corner and basically have uh, four different areas in rotation that have time to dry. Uh, sounds really funny, but it's true. And overall, Energon has no breaking period. I can say that in a month of use the glide has changed in any way. And I haven't 
intentionally washed it uh, and wiped it down to see how stable this surface is. Overall, I'd call this pet perfect if it weren't for the problem of crooked edges and uh, intolerance to sweaty hands. If your hands don't sweat that much and you like fast pets, Energon Pro is definitely worth checking out. I wouldn't consider a regular Energon uh, unless you have a room uh, for a large Energon Pro. And that's all for now. Thank for your attention. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Ciao.